uh, now for pancreatic cells, like it has islet cells, beta cells in the pancreas with secretions, you're going to have both receptors, alpha 2 as well as beta 2. Now here the scene is, and alpha 2 says, dude, screw you, I'm the boss, I'm going to inhibit insulin secretion, like screw you. And beta 2 is a good boy, for B for beta, B for boy, B f- and better boy b for boy b for better b for beta 2 it's a good guy so it's gonna increase insulin secretion but alpha 2 is like bro i'm the alpha and omega like screw you i'm gonna inhibit uh, insulin secretion so when there's normal epinephrine secretion alpha 2 mediated inhibitory effect is predominant causing sympathetic stimulation to lead to overall inhibition of insulin secretion Likewise, the epinephrine administration activates both alpha-2 and beta-2. But the overriding effect will be of whom? Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Alpha-2 is the one because he's alpha. He's the alpha. He's the omega. He's the best. So, he's like, no boss. I won't secrete insulin. I won't do it. So, it won't secrete insulin. So, that's why it is this. Now, if you block alpha-2 somehow and then you give epinephrine, then it will act only on beta-2, right? Because already you've blocked alpha 2 on the beta cells. So now the only other receptor remaining on beta cells of the pancreas is beta 2, which is a good boy, which will which will increase, which will become dominant then and increase insulin secretion. Yeah, so that's it.